<laughs> oh, hello, and welcome to 2024. This is thrilling. Now listen, first of all, <laughs> thanks for clicking on a video with this title. You must sure appreciate me to just want to have some breakfast in bed with me, and I can't tell you how much that means to me. Um, this is one of the first video ideas that I ever had for this channel, Garrett Unhinged, which was always meant to be sort of low-key, you know, sort of like relaxing and, 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 <coughs> uh oh, I broke, and a kind of channel where I just can, can sometimes can just take it easy and do low-key things with me. Yes, I'm capable of that. Okay? And so this is one of the, the videos that I always wanted to make. And I'm not trying to brag, but I, I've, I've gotten a new blanket. Um, but it's just you and me in my bedroom, and we're just going to have breakfast in bed. I'm not even gonna take you through the crazy scenario of me grabbing all my wild things. In fact, the 2024 Garrett is very prepared. He could make a whole spread. <laughs> oh. Now I won't, I won't ruin any surprises, but I've got all sorts of beautiful things here. Well, it's sort of a dream breakfast for me, and it's also what I could find in the fridge, or what I uh, stole from Andrew Sawicki, who's currently living. It's a whole, I'll get to it. The point is, is that right now, it's a new year. I've never been a new year, new me sort of person. Every time the new year comes around, it's just like, ah, oh, nice, here's another one. <laughs> but I don't know. I have noticed this thing happening on the internet and in, just, and in society as a whole. I've never seen so much positivity about a new year in my life. And I think that's really great. I have this theory that I think people are just bored of being sad <laughs> over the past few years. I think they're just like, I, I need something else. I, don't, I can't do this anymore. <laughs> so I think we're all trying out something new, which is positivity and baby, brother, sister, I'm on board. <laughs> so I figured what we do is we would just kick back and we would talk about it. It's a fresh new morning. Well, it's 4 p.m., but that's morning for me most days. <laughs> I'm fine, that's fine for me. I usually wake up around one when I'm being a real rock star. But that's the point of today is that we are just going to take it easy and we're gonna sit here and we're going to have a little dream breakfast. But here's the thing, um, so I don't get too off track, I've done something really special. I've put little reminders under each one of these breakfast items of things that we can discuss going into the new year. So, you know, listen, if you want to, go grab a, yourself a little snack or maybe some water. You need it and you know it. So, you know, if you want to, pause the video and then, you know, and then come back and join me so we can just have a little, a little feast. Um, so, oh, well, and first of all, you can't see it now. Maybe I'll show you later. I got this fantastic G.I. Joe uh, dinner tray, which I'm really excited to incorporate into the new year. But let's just start with coffee, although I, I already had a lot. But I'm just gonna have a little bit more coffee, okay? This helps me know what this cup is for. It says coffee on the side. Ah, so what do we have here with our coffee? Oh, that's right. So they're all the reminders are on pieces of paper. And it says, um, well, that's my handwriting, and that just says, uh, embarrassing. That's a good place to start. An embarrassing story. I have a very recent one. Ah! Oh, I don't want to spill on my new blanket! Okay. This was my most embarrassing story from 2023. I was at a New Year's party at a friend of mine, uh, a very cool friend of mine's house. Uh, his name is uh, Jarvis and Eddie. They are both YouTube boys. So I was at this party, a bunch of really nice, sweet, and very like cool people that all do interesting things were there. So um, we were all sitting, oh, I'll show you a photo from the party. There's a, that's one and, a, and that's another. Um, so at this party, I was standing around talking to this group of people, and you know, I think we were talking about movies or you know, whatever people talk about, I don't know, I can never keep up. And I was, you know, looking at all of them going, oh, this is so nice. And then uh, a very cool girl with very blonde hair uh, gasped. She went, <gasps> while looking at me, um, and you know, <gasps> like that. And she said, oh my God, I just went like, what's wrong, you know? And uh, she went, a spider. She was British, kind of. She went, a spider! And then everyone gasped when she said a spider. And there was a spider uh, crawling out of my uh, j uh, uh, jacket, like sort of a house spider, out of my jacket and, and then onto my shoulder. Now, I know that you'd think that my first reaction to this would be that I was horrified or embarrassed, and I was, but <laughs> my f initial instinct, because in that moment, there's this big, big fella came like kind of gunning towards me uh, to sort of take control of the situation. But I instantly backed up from him and I said, wait, don't kill him. 
just like that. <laughs> okay, so, uh, you know, there's probably like eight very cool people standing around me, watching me just freaking out about not hurting this spider that has crawled out of my jacket. I, you know, it's a jacket from a thrift store. It might have actually just been living in there. That happens. But, you know, that really did probably kind of suck. I mean, I wasn't too embarrassed by it, but I understand that objectively that's probably embarrassing for an arachnid to crawl out of your clothing while a bunch of cool people watch you and gasp and go, oh my god! <laughs> So, um, but, oh, it had a happy ending, though, because I, you know, I took the spider and I put him on my hand and I took him outside. And then I came back and I tried, I tried to say something cool, like, <laughs> that, you know, that's the, the, that's the, the first, that's the first spider of 2024, you know, something like that. And then I left the party. Um, next, next up. Just some morning sushi. I love all sushi, okay? I don't discriminate. I don't have a pretentious taste in sushi. In sushi! In sushi! Um, but I, I do actually particularly like uh, grocery store sushi and gas station sushi. It's never done me wrong. I think all sushi's good, and I got this one from a 24-hour grocery store next to me, and it's only uh, two days old. So that's fun. And look, I even have chopsticks. And right here under the sushi, is the next thing that we're gonna focus on. I sometimes have a hard time reading my handwriting. Oh, I'll have a piece of sushi though. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Even though it's pretty warm at this point. Yeah. Oh, yes, this is leave this in 2023. So I saw this meme going around on the internet that was like, you know, in, out. Like what we're taking into the new year and what we're leaving in 2023. And I thought it was a very clever format, you know, and it's people being like in meditation, out bad vibes, right? I, well, I only wrote down two things to leave um, in the past, right? And that's anyone doing this. <laughs> I have a prop for this. I came prepared. Anyone doing this mannerism, like they usually have like a cup like this, you know? And they say something really sassy. They'll be like, you know, I didn't, you know, like I didn't see her leave. Oh, I didn't see her leave the party with her boyfriend. Just saying. And then this, like, I'm just saying. You know, and then like going to like, you know, sip the, I just, it always feels so hateful. You know, I've never heard a nice thing come like before or after that moment. I just, I've seen that happen so many times and I always just go, mm, it makes me feel uncomfortable. So, you know, that's just one thing that I think we should all as a society leave behind is someone saying something sassy and then going like, oh, with like a, a drink. I, <laughs> I just think it's, it's time to, oh my God, I forgot I had this. Sorry. Oh, and then the other thing to leave behind is just those little micro USB ports. It is 2024. Use a USB-C or nothing at all technology companies. If I see one more of these, I'll scratch the first wall I see, no matter how nice the wallpaper or paint is on it, and that'll be on you. I think just those those things are what we'll leave in 2023. I can come up with a lot more, but like I said, I, I'm trying to keep this video reasonable. Oh, oh, well, there's one piece of sushi, but I don't necessarily need to eat it. Okay, listen, I know I said I was gonna stay down. It's just that I forgot I had something in my freezer. Well, and for you, for you OG unhinged fans, who's that that we have? <laughs> Still haven't thrown him away. If you know what it is, you know. If you don't, don't worry about it. Anyways, <laughs> I had to get up because I remembered that I had something in the freezer that I really, really wanted to try, which is somehow both uh, simultaneously a breakfast item and an affront to God. And they are these um, blueberry flavored pancake corn dogs. <laughs> look at that, isn't that awful? And look at that, we have a new piece of paper on here that I just put on that says, how to defeat self-sabotage. Trust me, it says that. And boy, do I have just the thing for that. So let's microwave this godless monstrosity for 60 seconds while I tell you about the very helpful sponsor of this video, BetterHelp. 
I'll tell you what, the only thing scarier than that gastric nightmare in the microwave is the cost and the hassle of finding a great therapist. So if you know me, you know that I collect a lot of stuff that I really love, but unfortunately I also collect a lot of other stuff that I really, really don't love in the form of very, very bad habits. Habits that do me no good. Like for instance, remember at the beginning of this video when I started my morning at 4 p.m.? That's one of them, but there's so many more. And sometimes my brain is not very well equipped to handle them on its own. I sometimes need a little bit of support from the outside to help this inside. And that's where better health comes into play. Cause I want to have a great year. And no matter what bad habits threaten to take me down in 2024, I do not want to let them win. They've been winning for too long, but luckily therapy can give me and you the tools to win. BetterHelp's mission is to make therapy affordable and very accessible. And BetterHelp is a breeze to use. It's online, it's remote, and by filling out a few questions, BetterHelp can match you to a professional therapist in as little as a few days. And if you don't vibe with your therapist, that's totally fine because it's completely free and very simple to switch. So if you, like me, think it could help you in 2024, consider online therapy with BetterHelp. And by clicking the link in the description, betterhelp.com slash unhinged, you can get 10% off your first month. Oh dear God, what am I, what's gonna happen to me? <laughs> when, because when I eat this. Next up, this is just, well, you know what this is. It's just some classic Captain Crunch. And look, I even brought almond milk. I am prepared in 2024. I know, I know exactly what I'm doing. Oh God, I forgot to take the list out. Oh, oh no. Oh, it spilled on the American slice that I stole from Andrew Swicky. Okay, no, I can still read this, we're fine. Okay, now these are the things we're taking into 2024. We love these things. In, sending letters. You know, hey, baby, nowadays we're so bombarded with a hundred trillion different things. You have Amazon.com and Bed Bath & Beyond. You have lots of places to shop and everyone has too many things, but not enough people have nice handwritten letters. My mom is always writing me the most beautiful little letters and cards and they mean the world to me. So, you know, just, it's nice and everyone loves it. I don't mean to sound cheap because gifts are nice too, but it's really nice. A little letter means the world to people. Oh, and I just wrote down rings. I, I, well, first of all, I'd like to flex a little and just say that I made that ring. I cast it in silver and did all that, you know, because I love an opal. Ask anyone. I love an opal. Oh, but more rings, you know? I just think they're fun. Whenever I do haunted videos, I always wear this one, this one ring that I think has kind of scary, like, and it has a ruby sewn in it, which kind of reminds me of B-L-O-O-D. And it freaks me out a little, but I love to wear it. And that ADHD brain, you know, I love to just to fidget with rings constantly. And I think they look so handsome on people. And you know, if you're not a ring person and you're going, I'm afraid to wear a ring, don't be. It's 2024, fear is out. Oh, then jewels. I wrote down, you know, in jewels. They're always fun. Oh, another thing that's in, hanging out with old people. Again, this is something that I want to do more for my for myself. I used to volunteer with my mom. We used to go around to uh, retirement homes and like on Mother's Day and just hang out with old, old ladies and talk to them and hear their stories. And it was really sweet. And I really want to start just hanging out with old people more. They have so much to give and a lot of them are lonely and I just want to do that more. Oh, call your aunt that nobody talks to. <laughs> That's a little bit like the last one, I suppose. Um, maybe they'd like to hear from you. Oh, here's something that's in, in 2024. Buying used stuff, okay? The greatest thing you could ever do, go to eBay. <laughs> it's not a sponsorship, but like I buy stuff from eBay all the time. It is the most fun thing. If there's an old movie you love or anything that you love, just like tap it into eBay and you can find like vintage shirts and like old action figures and cool things that are dirt cheap for nothing. If you ever need that retail therapy, like you want something new, give eBay a shot. I promise you'll find the coolest things in the world there. Oh, uh, trying. I would like to try this year in like so many different ways. I wrote down new blanket, new, I got a new blanket so that you know. Oh, music in the dark. Music in the dark's great. I love listening to music in the dark. I make playlists for myself and I, and I cry and it's beautiful and I love it. Oh, there's a lot more stuff that I want to take into the new year, but that'll do for now. Wait, oh, I forgot to even eat my cereal. Can you imagine it's gone soggy? Oh, well, certainly it has, but it's still good enough for me. I will admit, I can kind of taste the Sharpie because because the milk and the Sharpie, you know, they, they it's, it's fine. Oh, I love to eat a slice of cheese like this. 
um, just on its own. And oh, I mentioned I stole I stole this piece of cheese from Andrew Swicky because he's between uh, places right now because it was really hard to find places in Los Angeles. And so I was like, dude, crash my place for a little while. So he's my temporary roomie and it's lovely. But oh yeah, so I took this piece. Of, I've been stealing a lot of uh, American slices from him. Um, I think he's figured it out at this point, mostly because they're they're all gone when he goes to get an American slice. Oh, so next item is, and is um, just an American slice of cheese. Oh, oh me, oh my, what's that? That's what came out of it. Movie. Th that's how that I write that word. Well, this is easy because I know my answer right away. I think my favorite movie from 2023, uh, Poor Things. Oh my God. Poor Things is one of my favorite movies I've seen, I feel like in like a decade. One of the most visually stimulating, incredible, best written, perfect movies I have ever seen in my life. Please check it out if you want to, and if you're okay with seeing an R-rated movie, because I couldn't see those when I was a kid, because I was raised Mormon, and now I watch a lot of R- rated, it doesn't matter. And I wanna hear your fa- like any one of these things, I wanna hear <laughs> your version of them in the comments. So please like, <laughs> tell me your favorite movie in the comments. Have you seen Poor Thing? That's not, but I'm not, I'm why I'm acting like I'm ending this video. I'm not, cause there's grapes. Grapes. Grapes, and I ain't talking my hit song. <laughs> Sucked so bad, it wasn't a hit. But it was fun. <laughs> Shut up, Garrett. Oh, what do we have here? Oh, hobby. You know, um, what do you want to get into? I want to get into like miniature building so badly. I have built a couple things. I built a miniature 7-Eleven. It's a whole thing. But yeah, I really want to build miniatures and I need to read more. I mean, I need to read more. Oh, wait, I, don't, I didn't put anything under the Greek yogurt. Oh, that's gone bad. Oh. Strawberries. <laughs> also, look, the strawberries were on a little plate that I got with sort of a hot lumberjack Santa. Oh yeah, that's, okay, the thing on this, I promise you, <laughs> you will understand what I'm talking about. Kill phone. We are all, I, okay, I'm projecting. I am chronically addicted to my phone. It's terrible. I'm not proud of it. Really not proud of it. Do, do not, I do not want to tell you what my screen time is because I don't even have the nerve to look at it. My mind is super prone to just being dominated by TikToks and like an hour or two will go. It's terrible, it's terrible. I know what that's like to scroll on my phone for hours. I wanna just work on killing the phone this year, you know, keeping it away from my bed. I get people talk about this all the time on the internet. I know you probably feel the same way because everyone, whether you're like 80 or eight, everyone is chronically addicted to their phones. And so less of that this year, please, for the love of God, we all need that. We need to go outside and look at the birds more. Okay, now this one's kind of depressing. I wanted Taco Bell, but I wanted to be like healthier this year. So all I did was two packets of sauce on a tortilla. I will eat this, but off camera. Can you imagine how heartbreaking that would be to watch me slop two packets of <laughs> Taco Bell hot sauce on this tortilla and put it in my mouth? I mean, I will do it, but not in front of you. I've got like some self-respect, okay? But I didn't hear something fun. I didn't even put a little note on that one. I just put a picture of me and my mom celebrating the new year. Oh, look at that, isn't that fun? Freaking love my mom. That's, I don't, oh, okay. Oh, uh, uh, Bel Belvita cookies. Now these are fun and they pair well with coffee. Get them next time you're at the grocery store. They're the cookies in the yellow packs. Sometimes if you're lucky, they hand them out on airplanes. And by the way, we are exposing the GI Joe tray, which is very cool. Um, look at what's under that. It just says best song. Oh, uh, my opinion, I can't play it because copyright stuff. The best song of 2023, hands down, was actually in uh, Spider-Man Across the uh, Across the Spider-Verse. Uh, it's called Hummingbird by James Blake. I listened to that song a million times. I could not recommend it enough if I tried with all my heart. And that's my favorite song of 2023. What was yours? Sorry about the shouting. You know what? We're wrapping it up here. Look at this is the last one here. Let me introduce one of my favorite little snacks and something I love in the morning is just little Colby cheese squares. Most food is more fun if it's in a cube shape. You can quote me on that. And that and that is you understand? But I would say one of the most fun parts about this, and don't worry, because I can eat off the GI Joe tray, but look, a little hot patriotic Santa. Oh, you see my rusted old GI Joe uh, tray? 
okay? I just wanted to show you that. Okay, I'm gonna put this aside. I'll make this more intimate. Everyone clicks away. They don't want that from me. Something I personally want to take in. Don't look at my crunch berries by my bed. <laughs> Although I will keep them there until they're gone. <laughs> look at me my snack. Um, all right, there are so many things that I want to do this year, including, all right, what's new with me, but including getting very good with this channel and actually being more present here on my main channel and on this channel and in other places of the internet. I'm winking. Um, <laughs> oh God. Um, you see that, isn't that nice? Okay, oh yeah, something I wanna do this year. Okay, this is very weird and specific <laughs> to me, but of, cor of course I wanna hear your answers on this. Something I wanna take ownership of this year is like <laughs> my size and like my body. <laughs> um, I feel like every single person with a heartbeat <laughs> has things that they're self-conscious about, that they don't like about themselves, they pick themselves apart. We're all of our worst critics and stuff. I just, um, I think I realized like I'm a big guy, like I'm like, 230 pounds, like 6'4", right? I'm, I'm, a, I'm a beefy boy. And I, I really just want to take ownership of that moving into the new year. I've always kind of like, you know, hunched a little and kind of like not presented myself that well. I want to just be like own how big I am and like be healthy along the way too. You know, eat well and work on my fitness and stuff, like all the typical stuff, uh, all the good New Year's crap. So yeah, I know that's very specific and niche, but that's the point, okay? This is a rambling video <laughs> of me having breakfast in bed, speaking about hyper specific things. <sighs> So yeah, you know, <laughs> thanks for having breakfast in bed with me. Um, I would so greatly love to hear the things that you are feeling about this year. Again, I think I mentioned this earlier. I've never seen this amount of positivity uh, going into a new year and I really, really love to see it. I feel like everyone's genuinely jazzed about life right now. I don't know what's going on with like the stars. Maybe someone who's into astrology could tell me what's up, but I feel like everyone's really geeked right now on just like rising, myself included. So yeah, tell me something you're excited about in 2024 or any takes you had during that video. Do you have an embarrassing story? Did any spiders crawl out of your th jackets that your sister got for you at a, at a thrift store? Um, favorite movie, favorite song, anything, hit me, all right? I'm always yapping in the comments. Happy 2024, people. Uh, sure do love and appreciate you. Thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, this year, come on! <laughs> that's just me talking to myself. <laughs> it's kind of to you, too. So, that's in closing. We got this. Come on. <laughs> no, very excited about this year. Love you. Thanks for watching. Happy 2024. And I am, oh, there's no more sushi. I will finish my soggy cereal, though. Bye, love you, see you. <laughs>